Oh, we've got the CPI reading, guys. We've got the July CPI readings, and they've met consensus. Let's take a look. So what we have is we the economists were expecting a 0.5% month-on-month increase in July, and it was 0.5%, and they were expecting a 53 year-on-year increase 5.3 percent and it was 5.4 percent year-on-year let's take out the let's take a look at the details uh let's pull this up right so compute uh we have here uh cpi for all all urban consumers which is the cpiu increased 5.0.5 percent in july on a season adjusted basis and that was versus the 0.9%. And we'll look at how this is trending month on month shortly. That's versus 0.9% in the previous month's reading. And for the last 12 months, it's been 5.4%. Okay, so all in items increased increase by 5.4%. And that was uh, that was versus the 5.3% expected. Now, if you were to take out the food and energy, which are considered more volatile, that's 4.3% inflation. So it has started to trend down. It's Have we peaked? That's the question now. So it has started to trend down, but this is still high readings. 4.3% are more than some of us have seen in our lifetimes in the States. So this is some serious inflation. But is it right that the whole uh, theme that the Fed were trying to promote about inflation being transitory, is that going to come into fruition? And does that mean we can avoid having to rush the taper and potentially see an increase in rates before the end of the year? Well, let's look at the graph. So what we had was if we look at the trend here, so you saw uh, that during the period we crashed down and then we started seeing inflation ramp up. Now, the question is, is this a peak? Okay, or is it a fake? So we saw in May we had a slight trend down. Could it be that before that? Or are we now trending down? Is that it? This is the question we have to see. So we need a few consecutive readings, less than 0.9, and preferably, no, you know, if it's 0.5, 0.4 the next month, that would be very important. And uh, that's what we need to see. So it's a good indication that things have started to trend down, but there's still so many factors which we just don't know about. Remember, this is for the July reading. What happens in August or September when... Uh, let's say t- schools start to reopen, teachers are back at school, people are given, let's say, promotions or wage increases. Still, so much more we need to find out. So let's take a let's take a look at the month on month changes here. So we can see this is your uh, five point four reading. So it's five point four for two months consecutively. But if you adjust for food and energy, you've got what are the figures they said there. You've got. Uh, 4.3% and then 3.4%. Okay, so you can see how that's trending down. Okay, so that's what's interesting there is we can see that the 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 there, is, there does seem to be this kind of curving down, but we won't we won't know until uh, we see a few consecutive months. It's a good it's a good indication. I mean, this would have been very this would have really panicked the markets if this reading was you know even up here. That would have been a bit of concern if we had a reading up here and here. That wouldn't have been great at all. So it's a good sign that we've inflected down and we just need to see this trend through. Uh, Now, let's take a look at all the different items uh, and let's see what the trend is. Uh, So we can see, let's take a look, see if we have any big, uh, big movements. Uh, Fuel, 0.6. Uh, there you go, used car and trucks. So you can see here, we had a, a massive one, two, three months, that quarter there, ending June. And then it that's good that that's leveled off of there. That is brilliant, actually. So the fact that used cars, which we know was skewing this, waiting quite a lot, uh, I think that's given some relief to this index. Anything moved up quite a bit? We've had a, we've had uptick there in utility pipes, gas services, uh, we've seen these are all fairly steady. A uh, small drop uh, in food. Anything else? Okay, let's look at their highlights. Food index increased 0.7 percent in July after rising 0.8. So yes. Uh, so by the way, guys, remember this is this is like a this is the, the derivative, right? So inflation is still going up. But the rate of change of inflation is reducing. So what we're not saying here is food prices have got cheaper. We're saying they got 0.8% more expensive and now they got 0.7% more expensive. Okay, so it's the rate of change. It's the first derivative that we're looking at here. 
Okay. Now let's take a look. So the index for fruits and vegetables was the only major grocery store food group index to fall. So we actually saw a fall in fruits and vegetables. Uh, let's look at energy. Energy index increased 1.6% in July after 1.5. So that's still trending slightly up. Uh, all items, less food and energy. So this is the smallest monthly increase in four months. That's a good that's a good sign. We just want to see the curve kind of flatten over now. So the next reading is going to be really important. Not seeing the adjusted CPI measures. Uh, fine. Okay, so there you have it. So uh, a good set of CPI figures there. Even if a lot of you don't believe in the CPI figures anymore, I think it's a good indication to see that we may have signs that we've hit the peak. Um, so we've got readings versus consensus. The consensus was that, you know, it was a peak. Uh, so the economists had predicted correctly. But now it's a case of does that uh, continue? Let's have a quick look at, uh, I'll just glance over at the stock prices. So we can see Coinbase are up 5.6%. Uh, we can see some of the other Bitcoin plays are up 6%. Been a good time for crypto uh, this last week. And Coinbase really smashed earnings. Uh, look out for the video coming out where we do a deep dive into AK. 8K they just released. Really did smash it. Uh, Torch doing well, Hut Mining doing well, Lucid up a percent, Riot again 6% six, six up. Let's see if we can look at some of these. So we got the energy plays 1% down, EV go, another percent down, surprising given the infrastructure bill and this slight inflection down on CPI. Robin Hood down 2%. Interestingly, I thought they maybe would have gone up a little bit in solidarity with um, Coinbase. Uh, Neo flat, Tesla flat as well. Okay. Interesting. I guess the market has kind of uh, understood that uh, this is where we're at. They're maybe expecting that slight inflection point down in uh, the inflation rate. So I guess that's a good sign. Have we peaked? We'll find out over the next few months, but the economist got it spot on there. Uh, even if you don't believe in CPI, it's still good to know that we're inflecting down and maybe we have seen the peak. So there you go. That was the July CPI reading and we'll see you in the next one.